Our planet, Earth, is constantly changing. From the tectonic shifts deep below its crust causing earthquakes and volcanoes, to the delicate fluttering of butterfly wings, change is inevitable and constant. But when we talk about global climate change, we're discussing something that impacts every single one of us, regardless of where we live or who we are. Before we delve deep into this topic, let's first clarify a couple of basic terms. At its core, climate change refers to long-term changes in the usual temperatures and weather patterns of a region. This doesn't mean just hotter summers or chillier winters. It's a shift in the traditional weather patterns over an extended period, often decades or centuries. For instance, if a region typically sees about 50 centimetres of rainfall every year but has lately been receiving only 20 centimetres or less every year, this could be an indicator of climate change. Or if the polar ice caps, which have been around for millions of years, are melting at a rapid rate, that's also a possible indicator of climate change. Important in understanding climate change is knowing the difference between weather and climate. A common misconception is thinking of weather and climate as the same thing. So, let's set the record straight. Weather is what conditions of the atmosphere are over a short period of time, and it can change from day to day and even minute to minute. For example, one day it might be sunny, and the next it could be rainy. That's the weather, it's temporary, and it's unpredictable over short periods. Climate, on the other hand, is the average weather pattern in a place over many years. If you could average out all of the day's weather in a location over several decades, that would give you the climate of that place. When measuring climate, temperature and precipitation are commonly measured over long periods of time. Imagine weather as your mood on any given day and climate as your overall personality. Just because you're grumpy one day doesn't mean you're a grouchy person. Similarly, a cold day in summer doesn't mean the planet isn't gradually warming. With this fundamental understanding of the difference between weather and climate, we're better prepared to explore the profound impacts, causes and potential solutions to the climate challenges our world is facing. So, as we journey through this guide, remember, Understanding is the first step to making a difference. Don't forget to subscribe!